Hey, hey, everyone. I am the great and powerful Cheese Fry, and welcome back to more Pathologic 2. Where we last left off, we heard laughing, and a lot of strange things happened. And now, even more. We are still on the search for the perfect chicken nugget, but until then, we must loot and find more of these potions. In fact, can be used like any other infected or mm, why would I need what thing get the It's so strange. Hmm. Why do I need infected blood? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, but I don't think I need it. Why, why would I... Bathroom? Tile? This looks exactly like a public bathroom. Very strange set of tools, these. It would seem this is where the alchemist does his work. Very interesting. Very important to know where your tools are. Yes, indeed. Ah, so this must be a hospital, then. I thought this was a house, but I guess not. I think that might be an IV bag. That could also be an enema. You really can't tell. Hmm? I was summoned back to my hometown by a distressing letter from my father. But who is in the back room? Great question. Who is in the back room? Hmm? Cool. After the intro, the game will no longer autosave. Find places to save manually. Thanks for the tip? Why would you give me the option and then take it away? Why would you do that? I'm very confused by this. Maybe it's that I just had a long day, and I'm like, mentally fried, but that does not make any sense. That does not make any sense. None at all. No, no, no. And the loading bar has still not moved. Just still in the- Oh! It would seem that talking about the loading bar makes the loading bar move even faster. It's like waiting for your meal at a restaurant. The moment you start wondering where your food is, the server comes out and he has your food. It's brilliant. I must consider implying this tactic into more parts of my life. That loading screen literally lasted a minute. It's still not gone. Are we good? Can we move on? Like, we're three minutes in and most of it's been loading screen. Please? What is that symbol in the top? I'm very confused because I'm, I'm, I'm unsure of what orientation it's supposed to be in. All it does is swing. From the chandelier. From the chandelier. Oh, loading bar disappeared. But the loading screen... Ah, here we go. Excellent. Okay, do I get to keep my inventory? Is that me? Is that a fellow doctor? I'm quite unsure. Okay, I guess that's me. Um... Who those guys? <gasps> They're the Black Ops. They've come for my chicken nuggers. I knew it. I knew this day would come. Oh, he's got a knife. He's ready to fight for the chicken nugger. In this world, it's eat or be eaten. And everyone's a chicken nugger. Well, someone just got stabbed. And it looks like it was... Not me? Day one in which Hauer Specs finds out his hometown has changed beyond recognition. Feel the flow of time for the first time. Okay, uh, well, hmm. Okay. Well, 
and secrets out. I was summoned back to my hometown by a stressing letter. In this letter, Father wrote that he will face that... As if, or did he write we? I don't remember. Home sweet home, welcomed with knives honed. What does this mean? Game saved. Oh, I can loot the bodies. Pocket watch, very good. Always need pocket watch. I'm not going to worry about that. Ah, nah. I need the money. Fishing hook. Sharp objects are regarded as dangerous in this... I'll take them. The Moray must have been in a hurry. I'm going to take his currency. And a... Mm, apparently fingernails. Very good. Uh, empty bottle. Always useful. Money. Chestnut. There are no chestnut trees around, and yet chestnuts are pervasive. Truly a town of mysteries. Truly in... Deed. And then what do you got, boy? Okay, where's this knife? Soldier food is better to eat. It's better to eat fresh bread. I mean, it is, but... Scrap name. When a person is done with their name, they discard it. When a person is done... When a person is done with their name. So what you're saying is, if I no longer want to be cheese fry, I can just write it down, tear it up, and become someone new? If it was that easy, my friend. Charm. Averts bad fortune unhelpful to me, but some value it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Because who cares? Another rat friend? Fox friend? Wolf friend? Hi, friend. The worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. You hit hard for a hunchback, but whoa boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it, too. You're gonna be in serious trouble. A hunchback? What kind of doggy are you? <laughs> Shut up, mongrel. You need to handle that bleeding old man. You're covered in blood, your own blood. You don't need to lecture me, boy. I'm a surgeon. Oh, I saw that. You're good at cutting people. All reflexes a slicer dicer. Yes, I'm good at cutting people. Man, you must really have anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam, those three guys are dead. <laughs> this ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. Kid, around here isn't all anywhere special. But this town is special. I mean, the folks are ordinary, but the town. I know, I was born here. Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit them three times, Max. Send them running. Let them run. You don't actually have to kill anyone who bothers you. Jeez. I'll keep that in mind. You can speak to some people a few times in a row. When the cat's away, the one with the knife was Kirik, a leather worker. Not gonna cry for that for him. That guy was nuts. Was this an ambush? How long were they waiting for me? They weren't waiting for you. I think you were an accident. Then who was the real target? I don't know. Rumors are going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows? Maybe it's true. Good boy. I hope it isn't. This, this town's seen enough blood for one day. So... Wait, so if I'm bleeding, I need the scissors as well. Because then, is there a crafting system? Thoughts, people, things. Here we go. Thirst, I am slightly thirsty, it would seem. Hunger, exhaustion, thirst, use? Ah, good, good, good. Um, why did I, oh, it, it just put the bottle away. Eat the food. Oh, but it was dry, so it made me thirstier. Ah, interesting. Very interesting, okay. Um, touch. Broken scissors. It said Clara the Changeling, a, ch a thief girl who claimed to be a saint, can repair any sharp object as easily as she cures a sand pest simply by laying her hands on it. Okay, is there any sort of crafting menu, though? Can trade it for something. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm thirsty now. I need water. Great. Those dudes again. Who the hell are these guys, anyway? The Executors. I know. Oh, his name is Talon. Well, Barak, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. Can't do much on short notice. Are you with that... 
proud. Of course I'm not. We are just peaceful town folk. Wait, hold on. I feel like he's gonna almost talk. He almost looks like Skeksis. But I don't feel like doing the Chamberlain voice right now. Of course not. They were just peaceful town folk. Craftsmen, factory workers, good sons and fathers. But me, I'm much more dangerous. I'm the mask of fate. Peaceful? <laughs> and what's my fate? What do we got here? Another flash flood warning? Cool. No, it's not pretty, Barak. Really? Why? You have been bashed on the head several times, and the locals' fists are heavy, and one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss, too. And the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? Ha! <laughs> Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night. Did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical, too. I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first. So, what's your plan? If I'm going to die, so be it. Oh, fatalism looks cute on you. Better not make pre proclamations like that without gritting your teeth. Problem is, your teeth have almost been knocked out, so clenching your jaw is hard. Fatalism's much more fun when you've got options, isn't it? Maybe. Dressing your wounds would be a good idea. Where would I get bandages? A drugstore, Barack. You've been studying surgery for six years and you're just finding this out now? But it's not just about the wounds. Even when they are dressed, you still need to be aware of your body. It's not always on your side. Pay attention to its needs. <laughs> I'll figure it out. What next? Next, you die anyway. Because the whole town will soon have it out for you. And it's not going to do with three poor souls you've just done in. Great. Why do they hate me? My colleague over there can explain it better. That's his role. Mine is teaching you how your body works, so you don't die before you make it home. Fair, no fair enough. Forewarned? Forearmed. Jesus, you're tall. Did you get taller? Who the fuck is you? Reflection. Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies. He wants you dead. I'll be damned. Does everyone want me dead? Do not go home, Barak. Stay clear of home. In town you have some friends yet, do you not? Let me guess. Father is unhappy with me, isn't he? Or yes, three of them. We were inseparable when we were kids. The town is yours, Barak. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run in down your spine. You may inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You need no home beyond this town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me. I should tell you more than I can. Shut your eyes and hide under the covers then, so no one can hurt you. That's just weird. Okay, who the fuck are you? That's Talon. And who are you? Welcome back home, Warden. You've been away a while. You probably don't even remember the heady scent of twir twire in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? I'm not a warden anymore, much less an irritating bird. Rude. Do you think it's smart to get cheeky at me? Don't spit into the wind, as the saying goes. Wardens 
Barak are your family's role in the local stepkin. You are a stepman, aren't you? Half. My father is a stepman. Indeed, old Isidore Barak is the example of a true doctor, and a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? He's the reason I returned. He summoned me with a letter, said there was a threat. Do you know anything about it? Nothing's a threat to him anymore, trust me. Maybe dishonor, but that's even unlikely. You're a man of obligation, after all, aren't you? Runs in the family, why? I'm a family man. Oh, my eyes are itchy. Whatever, that's not important. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Barak, time is important. Be careful how you spend it, and be aware you don't have much left. I know. A few more minutes. Your colleague already told me. Well, a little more. I, int I intend to live to 80, no less. We're a long-lived family. Man, living to 80 is a long time. I'll be happy to make it to 70. You've got less than two weeks, Barak. Twelve or so days. Trust me, I'm a specialist. So use your time well and hurry home now. Why are you wasting time here? Your father's waiting. I should hurry home, that's true. Once I return. <laughs> I don't like you much, Beakhead. These guys are so creepy. Oh, th I mean, that must be their actual face, but they're still, like, forever tall. Look at that. Oh, I can talk to Talon again? Persistent, huh? Maybe you'll survive a day or two this way. Got a bite? Bird seat's fine. Food is sold in shops, though your reputation might prevent you from a warm welcome. But there's a meat warehouse nearby that conveniently was broken into recently. The perpetrators walked down the railroad tracks there, ahead to the right. Think you can catch to them? Not sure. To be honest, I'm dead tired. You can sleep at someone's place, if they like you enough. I doubt anyone around... <clears throat> oh wait, this is Talon's voice. I doubt there's anyone around like that, though. People have forgotten you. You do have your own house, I suppose. Do you remember where it is? Actually, I could use a map. Is that it? Are we done talking? Reflection's done? Okay. So they're down the railroad tracks, but which direction? Man, this is just getting weird. This is getting so weird. Wait, I can go between these cars. Okay. And that's not where I'm supposed to be going. Is it this way? Which way is it? Which way am I going? Which way am I going? I'm lost. I'm alone. There's a Stonehenge out here. I will find the answers in Stonehenge. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is out there? I got fists. Fisticuffs. Oh, this is like a legit Stonehenge. Fingers. Ooh. Ooh, making that... Ooh, making that equality made me very uncomfortable. I'm getting out of here now. I don't like that. I'm just stone fingers. Reaching out of the ground and grasping. I'll head towards the factory instead. Those plumes seem much more inviting. <laughs> oh, that music. I can barely hear it, but because I can only hear this off the TV, but oh my god. Alright, well, that's a thing. Loading. Always good. Nope, they're done talking to me. Mm. Alright, it's the middle of the day though, so maybe if I just put my fists away, we'll be alright. Was that train car always there? 
I'm unsure. Okay. Loading. Step. Has a thousand eyes. Excellent. Someone please explain to me why I need to run. Thirst. So, how does the stamina thing work? Is it based on my greatest need? Which at this time would be water. Hey look, water. Can I drink this water? Is it safe to drink this water? It's green. I probably shouldn't. Okay, so that's the factory. That must be the town. Oh, I guess they told me how to run so I could... Hmm. Warehouses. Only rats live here. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. I'm getting thirsty. But... There's a chance there might be food and water still in here somewhere. This reminds me... Quite a bit. That's locked. Like, this takes more of the walking simulator amnesia. I thought I heard something. More broken scissors. I don't need more broken scissors. Oh, there's an X on that door, so probably shouldn't go in there. This reminds me a lot of a game that I've got on the PS3, and I may play it. I re-downloaded it. Um, came out a while ago called uh, I Am Alive. Oh, there's a fire out there. It means that at least somebody's still here. Um, basically, it's this post-apocalyptic world that... Uh, oof. Thought I heard something. It's hard to tell because I have my TV turned down so low. But it's like a similar concept taken in a different direction with a different genre. So it's like modern post-apocalyptic. Oh, this door's open. No, it's not. Surely there's food somewhere, or at least bandages. Or a bedroll or something. None of that, but... Railroads here. Can I interact with that with the switch? Cannot. Maybe later. It'd be nice if I could do that later. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because either way they'd run into a dead end. Cool. Very cool. All right. I just want the chicken nugger. Can someone point me in the direction of the chicken? I just want my chicken nugger. Help me. I need the chicken nugger. I hunger. I thirst. I thirst for the chicken nugger. Liquefied chicken. Don't ever ask me where that voice came from. Because I honestly could not for the life of me. <gasps> And then I'll put some in my bottle. How many bottles do I have? I've got two. So I could actually fill the other one as well. Excellent. Now I have two bottles of water. Sweet. Now I need food. Oh, I can eat the chestnut, I think. Um, I should be able, if I can select, there we go, the chestnut. Use? Eh, that did something. I mean, that didn't cure all of my hunger, but it was edible. I could eat it. Did I just double back? I think I just doubled back. Hmm. Where was I? 
I saw that. No, no, this is right. I'm heading this way. Just everything looks so similar. Hmm? I met a funny dog-eared kid at the station. What was he doing there? Martin was murdered tonight. Redhead Grigory Fillin, aka Bad Grief, always goads on me. Goads me into doing crazy stunts. We used to have a secret lair in a warehouse. Where? Oh, right here? Is this it? Hmm. Very good. Loading screens. On a modern console. This was not a very good port, was it? Oh, you again. What the fuck are you doing here? So you're just gonna hang out? There's not gonna be anything about it here? Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. Oh, hello, you. You either put too much makeup on or are infected or both. I'm more just to talk to this guy. Gregory's reflection. Even a heartache. Even a even in a handcrafted town like this, there's an underground, a rat's nest, at odds with the law, it at odds with good morals. People come to them with dubious challenges and requests. Just say it out loud. No, who are you? A reflection. Call me his conscience, if you will. Griefs? I always knew Bad Grief's conscience was somewhere around, yet still separate from the guy himself. You know my master, he's your friend, and he hasn't changed much since you last saw him. He's always loved to live on the edge, never such a stickler for rules, but he was never truly vile or cruel. Yet, he has changed. He wants to seem a kingpin, a king, a local czar for his own turf. He wants to seem, but not be. Play a big wheeler dealer. But that's not who he really is. He's just playing pretend. Don't make me laugh. Would you like to know what your old friend is truly worried about now? He's playing the dashing scoundrel in front of you, but his soul is trembling. Well, why? He's worried that blood started to spill now, and it probably spilled by his men. The people who rubbed shoulders with him, hiding his te their teeth at first. He's worried you'll think he has it all under control, meaning today's craze is his doing. How do you know he even has a conscience? I am his reflection. Who else is to know his heart, what his heart is worried about? Touching. Perhaps he is partially responsible. Perhaps he did corrupt them with his talk of how any law but is but chains that one must break in order to become free and truly human. But he never wanted bloodshed. Keep that in mind. Thanks, Reflection. That's comforting to know. The so, wench has us all oh over a Oh boy, bell. you're a little too close to Nothing me, buddy. To be done about it I mean, everyone is, but still. Well, look who's entered my humble abode. Could it be my pal Artemy the Artist? The Artemy who cuts arteries, maybe? No, I don't recognize this man. Too soft. They must have kept him swaddled and coddled. At whatever palace he ran off for. <laughs> Good to see you too. A little bird told me you hard-boiled criminal now. I'll admit, you old friend, I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouses, and no quail nor nightingale will sing a tune. You're a storekeeper? Not a keeper of stores, but stories. This town, this great machine, the gears don't turn on their own. No, not till they're slick with secrets. Proposed nonsense, I know what you do. Forget it. Tell me, friend, what's your plan? My plan? Why do you ask like that? Cub, your old man got killed this night. You haven't heard? What? Wait, what? This whole point, for the whole point of us coming here, and he's dead. Hell out of me! Half the town wants your head over this. Those fools. Ah, uh, easy to fix. Give me a little time. Go ahead if you want. What's the plan then? Revenge or something with a little more finesse? 
We'll find this. We'll find out who did this. Then we'll see. Just stay away from Sabarov. I mean it, Cub. The man's a hawk. All might that all might makes right. No sense. He'll throw you in jail first, and only think once later. I know your th your thick skull too. You charge in there, shoulders squared, thinking, "Oh, the truth will win out." Bullshit. Stay away. You hear me? Mind your own skull, all right? If only we knew who did away with your father, we'd spare the beast nothing. Yeah, fair. Can I speak? Nope. That's with him. Okay. Wait, hold up. What's going on here? I need to find people who still remember me, who will believe me without proof, who can vouch for me. Alexander Sabarov, the town's governor, is in charge of an investigation. I remember him, a stern man. Father's dead. I was too late. Great. Just lovely. So wait. So there's a memory here. Before I talk to him again, what's this? Oh, so I can save the game at the clock. What is the purpose of... Wait, huh? There's a prompt to hit right. And I hit right. And now the game is going incredibly slow. White bones? Blood. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Bad grief. Isidore Barak. And the clock is constantly ticking. Great. A well honed You run into the old crowd. Stock Reuben, Lara. Haven't seen him around. Gotta say, it's tough. It's a tough time for our friendship. I mean, if you can call this friendship. Gravel-hearted Lara won't look at me now, and Stock's even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. You need help. You gone outside recently, it's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their minds hunting the culprit. A step golem, some think, but others? They're after your hide, friend. All this going on, naturally, my men ran into a mob. Barely got out alive. They need a sawbones. Bad. Your old man's gone, and his star student stock won't take the job, so... People took, mistook your men for me. Each and every one of them? Wait, no. Uh, let me patch them up. I am a surgeon, after all. Are your men still here? Not here. Shanna dropped by. Said they're waiting for death and in a hideout. Poor piecework. He's knocking on heaven's door. Got something stuck in the belly. Can you believe, folks? They're all shapeshifters, I swear. Shedding skin and eating each other. May not look it, but every person in this town has a vile beast inside. I need tools. Don't have any on me. Tools! Got you all set, friend. Blessed be the warehouses, the wellspring of goods, including the illegal ones. There, take a peek inside that crate, and choose anything your heart desires. Although, maybe you should stick around. Dangerous out. Fair enough. Alright, so, what we got here? Limited time, Lara Ravel lives by the river in a house called The Shelter. We used to be friends when we were kids. Hopefully she at least lets me sleep at her place. Reuben is my father's student. Almost a brother to me. I should see him. He will help. So wait, these red ones. One of Grief's boys got stabbed. I promised to take a look at his wounded belly. Just gotta remember to bring a scalpel. So that's... So wait, hold on. Father is dead. Should I insist on rushing home? Reuben's father. Okay, so I need to make it all the way over there. Mm. Oh, um, thank you, good sir. Very kind of you. Ooh, and some, and some cash as well. Egg, coffee, very important. Bandage, need that. Excellent. Thank you. Was that the last? Yeah, that's the last of it. I should probably save again. Oh, well, I'm rooted to this spot while I save. Alright, well, this episode went on a little longer than I expected. Um, We're going to continue on next time. So, once again, 
just like before. I thank you so much for watching. This video is supporting the Saint. I keep. Oh, this video is supporting the Saint Baldrick's Foundation and their fight to help fill the funding gap and research childhood cancers. You can learn more about that fight and maybe chip in a dollar or two in the top in the link in the top of the description. Once again, I thank you guys so much for watching. Stay cheesy, and I'll see you tomorrow.